Well, it's been one of those days we started out with overcast skies. We had some drizzle out there and then we broke through the overcast in some places to the south. You still stayed under the clouds. And as we take a look right now, Storm Team 5 Skyview cameras powered by Pella windows and doors. We're back in the clouds again across the area. Temperatures up at Sturgeon Bay currently at 55 degrees as we look towards the north, the bridge there in the uh, foreground. And as we go from there to our West College Avenue camera in Appleton, 57 degrees. Again, mostly cloudy skies. Same thing in Green Bay. Now mostly cloudy skies, 59 degrees out there. We're going to see those temperatures drop down to probably the upper 40s, low 50s by early tomorrow morning. And we're still seeing a few sprinkles, well, I'll say around Appleton, a little bit out to the west. Nothing too much with this. And the same thing out further to the west. You get a better view as we kind of pull this map out. A large area of showers and thunderstorms moving across southern Wisconsin. And that should stay pretty much to the south of us. Could see a few light, very light showers by early tomorrow morning. And then as we get into the morning tomorrow, the possibility of uh, some more showers will be with us again before we finally start to, I think we were not going to clear out by tomorrow night, but at least the showers will pretty much move off to the east. Next system continues to move by one system after the other, continues to follow the jet stream. This boundary right here passed down to the south and is kind of stalled out now. That allowed the northeasterly winds that uh, brought in all the cooler temperatures again for today. Right now, 50s, pretty much a few low 60s out there. We have dew point temperatures that are in the 40s, a couple of 50s here and there. And then we have mostly east northeasterly winds again, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. We'll probably see those winds stay that way, although it'll be a little bit lighter for tomorrow. But if you notice by early tomorrow morning, again, the possibility of a few hit and miss showers will be with us. That could be the case then as we head in towards the mid morning hours, it kind of passes across the area. And then as we hit into the say the middle part of the afternoon, again, it could be one of those situations where we're looking for a little bit of clearing up to the north, but say two thirds of the viewing area are going to sit underneath the clouds for a good portion of the day tomorrow. We get maybe a break tomorrow evening and then we're back in uh, to probably some slow clearing as we head into the afternoon then on Monday. But we finally start to clear out a little bit and we'll start to see those temperatures warm up as we head through the day on Monday and then to next week, as you'll see in just a minute here. We're going to see another cool day for tomorrow, no doubt about it, but only about low 60s at best. Then we get up to about 70 on Monday and it looks like even the, the last couple of model runs, this is still Pretty much consistent. We're looking at kind of steady temperatures as we head in towards uh, most of next week and even into next weekend, about where we ought to be for this time of year, maybe in a couple of degrees warmer. So our forecast for tonight, a few showers here and there. Otherwise, the clouds stay with us. Temperatures right around 50. And then for tomorrow, we're looking for 60s, maybe a little bit warmer up to the north as we look for uh, possibility of uh, more showers as we head uh, through the day tomorrow. Here is your seven day planner. We clear out during the afternoon on Monday and then it looks like partly cloudy skies on Tuesday, but another round of showers Wednesday, maybe some thunderstorms along with it on Thursday, but those temperatures do start to inch up into the 70s for highs, which is where we ought to be for this time of year.